So in our last video we had a look at the at RNA, at its structure, and we looked at the different types of RNA. And we talked about control of gene expression. And in this one here we're going to have a look at gene expression and we're going to have a look at the process of a protein being made. And we're going to look at the first stage, which is called this stage here called transcription. So transcription is the synthesis of mRNA, so the making of messenger RNA from a section of the DNA. It starts from a region of DNA known as the promoter and it ends with an, a section of the DNA which is called a terminator or a terminator sequence. Now you need to know about this enzyme here called RNA polymerase. You remember we talked about DNA polymerase when we were looking at DNA replicating itself. But in this case here, you need to remember that here we're making a messenger RNA molecule. So the enzyme that is involved is RNA polymerase. So it's the enzyme responsible for subscription. And the RNA polymerase binds at the promoter and unwinds and unzips the DNA. And the RNA polymerase adds nucleotides onto the three prime end of the mRNA molecule. So it works the same way, I suppose, you could think of as DNA, uh, DNA polymerase. It can only add nucleotides onto the 3 prime end. And the base pairing rules are the same, except you have to remember that with mRNA, instead of thymine pairing up with adenine, uracil will pair up with it. But the base pairing rule means that the mRNA produced will be complementary to the DNA. And the molecule, or the messenger mRNA molecule, will elongate until it reaches the terminator sequence. And the molecule produced is called the primary transcript. Now that's a lot of words, and it's sometimes in a diagram. So this is the transcription overview here. So you'll have, here's our section of DNA here that is going to be involved in... Um, our gene expression or in the making of our protein. And you'll have the um, promoter that um, the RNA polymerase will move along the DNA from the promoter and when it does that it will unwind and unzip the DNA double helix. The hydrogen bonds between the DNA bases will break as that unzipping happens and then the RNA polymerase will add nucleotides onto the three prime end of the growing molecule. So these nucleotides are being added on here and you'll see here that here there's adenine on the DNA molecule and uracil here. Adenine here, uracil here, guanine here, cytosine here and so on. So our, the beginnings of our messenger mRNA molecule are being formed here. So there'll be weak hydrogen bonds that form between the bases of the mRNA and the DNA and there will be a sugar phosphate backbone um, forms in the mRNA as well and the RNA polymerase is involved in that too. And then what happens is that these hydrogen bonds that are here will actually break and this messenger mRNA molecule here will move away from the DNA molecule. And then what happens is that these um, nucleotides here in the DNA molecule will then pair up again. So you'll get these pairing across here and the DNA molecule will zip itself back up again and the DNA molecule will rewind into a double helix. So meanwhile you will have this molecule that's here ending up with a whole lot of colour here on this that has made its way here away from the DNA and that is called the primary transcript. So we've got the pri this primary transcript then, which is really a, a copy of 
that section of the DNA that's going to be involved in coding for the, prote the proteins. But the thing is that that primary transcript isn't yet ready to move out into the cytoplasm yet. Because if we're looking at a eukaryotic gene, not all the regions that are along that piece of DNA that, that or that piece of a, a messenger RNA, but originally the original DNA molecule, not all the areas on that original DNA molecule are required to produce the final protein. Some parts of the DNA, and so therefore some parts of the messenger RNA, are not actually coding for proteins. And they've got a special name, these non-coding regions. They're called introns. And there are areas that code for your protein, and these are called exons. So the introns that aren't coding for the protein, they're not going to be involved in making the protein. So what happens is that after transcription, the introns that are there in the messenger RNA are removed and the leftover exons that are there are spliced together to form a continuous sequence and that forms what is called the mature transcript and the mature transcript then leaves the nucleus to travel to the cytoplasm where it will then be translated into a sequence of amino acids it's a thousand words so here and this diagram here, we're looking at a summary of that modification of the primary transcript. So here we've got original DNA molecule. And, you know, remember, that's our double-stranded double molecule. Um, and it's got, you know, our bases all along here. This diagram's moving off the screen a bit. But there's a double-stranded molecule. And there are areas that are there which are involved in making a protein. These areas are called exons. They are being expressed, you could think of it that way, and making the protein, so expressing themselves in the making of a protein. But these other areas here, the introns, are non-coding regions for proteins. So when the primary transcript of the messenger RNA is made, it is an exact copy of the DNA molecule, so it will have in the exon and intron regions in it here. And what happens is that primary transcript is um, the introns are removed and then the exons that are left are basically spliced together or joined together to form what is called the mature transcript. So this is our coding sequence for making our protein. And these introns that aren't involved in that have been removed. And the mature transcript then moves its way out of the nucleus to the cytoplasm to make its way towards the ribosome. And I will post a video called Transcription Up as well for you to actually watch this process on an animation. One last wee thing to say is the process of expressing a gene or making a protein has got these two processes in it called transcription, which has been in this video, and the next one is called translation. And sometimes people are not sure or they forget which one is which. And the way that I always or I always try to think of it is if you just remember your DNA molecule has got your, you know, A, your adenines, your thymines, your guanines, and so on, and your cytosines. And if you think of that, when you're making the messenger RNA molecule, you are actually making oh, a copy of this. Or what you're doing is you're transcribing. Or you're scribing, you know, if you think of a script or a scribe, they're making a note of the letters or whatever. And so the mRNA molecule is making a note of those letters and that just helps you to remember that the first process involved in the expression of genes or the making of a protein is called transcription. Hope that helps.